Hello, this is a tutorial to quickly just uh, give you a brief overview of the MetaTrader 4 app. The MetaTrader 4. Now you can you you would have downloaded most likely. Now you have the MetaTrader 4 and you have the MetaTrader 5. Both of them serve slightly different purposes. The most well used is the MetaTrader 4. Um, application that's what we're going to be using here so when you open it i just want to take you through different parts uh just just because it's like a guided tour we're not going to go into much details here now this is the interface where you have the currencies the different currencies uh that you might want to trade i will show you in a later tutorial how to add currencies to this home page how to delete some currencies that you don't need um and all that stuff and or whatever other financial instruments uh that are not relevant okay so now uh, look at the top left hand side of my screen you see three horizontal lines there you click on that and then these options um, come out you see quotes charts trade history mailbox and all the rest of them now you can go to the settings part um, you will really have no business with mailbox news economic calendar messages trader community journal about you really don't have the only place where you may have business with is in the settings section uh, and this is where we get to tweak a couple of things um, uh, around if you want to uh, if you want sounds to be played when you issue an order when you close an order that's that in a, the advanced mode if you wanted to show all the details of uh, you know the currency then you can do that then what kind of charts do you want on your screen that the recommended chart is the candlestick chart not the line not the bar the candlestick chart so you leave that exactly um the way to show volumes you really don't have problems with i mean you really don't have any business that show trade levels you can select that independent charts graphical you can select that show period separators yeah you can select ask price line yeah, so you can also allow that to show. The ask price is the price at which you want to, um, <clears throat> that you want to sell to the market. But let's not go into all those. The color scheme, um, I use the color scheme, I use uh, custom. Is it custom? Uh, there are several so you have green on black you have black on white and then you have custom but ideally if you are the type that does not like the white background you can select you can select uh you can select green on black and that just that just leaves everything uh the way it is yeah so this this is this is much some people like this screen some people don't and it's okay it's okay that way all right, so that is pretty much everything you have to do in this part. We can just uh, leave this place. You can press the back button and then it will take you out of this place. If the back button doesn't work, just look at any of these options you have on the lower side of the screen and it takes you uh, it takes you away from there. All right, so so basically you can, you can navigate around by using this... Uh, three rectangles at the top left hand of the screen or you can also navigate around by using the options at the base of the screen now uh, you will also at the base of the screen you can see some options in these arrows which basically shows the currencies uh, then this part is the part that shows your charts the graph um, now you may be wondering what these two lines are to make it very simple to make it very uncomplicated for you let's just say that the red line is the buying price and the gray line is the selling price. Uh, the gap between them is what we call spread. Now, spread is basically, it's that's more like the difference in price from where your broker takes their commission from. So if you are selling at a particular price, when you sell, the gap between the amount of pips, the gap between your the gray line, the sell line, and the red line is the commission that your broker is taking. That's why you have two different prices at any point in time in the market. Much like in the same way when you're doing uh when you're exchanging dollar for your local currency, the selling price of the dollar is from the buying price of the dollar. All right, so that's that. Now uh the third icon at the base of your screen, when you look at that, the arrow pointing upwards, this is where where it shows you 
your ongoing trades if you have any ongoing trades this is where you are going to see now there's no ongoing trade this is just my balance equity and all the rest of them uh and all that now balance equity free margin these are things that you would have learned in your foundational education uh on babypeeps.com so if you have not taken if you have not completed the basic sections you should do that all right then the fourth icon this one that looks like uh, a mailbox opening up is where you show it shows your trade history the trades that you've taken before these are this is a demo i can't use a demo trade i use this particular trade to do an example you just say that's why i had to i just closed it in uh, a loss all right so that's pretty much that now look at the dollar sign the dollar sign at the at the right hand side of the screen uh, the dollar sign just shows you all the symbols and basically all the currencies that you have traded the next icon beside it uh you can you can change several settings there but the whole the whole point of all the setting is just to show you the trades that you have taken the profits you made on them or the losses that you made uh, depending on what you're trying to see if you're trying to see just the, all the trades you select order symbol will also show you all the uh, currencies or trades that you've done then the calendar icon here shows you all the depending on what period of time you want to see yeah, if 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 it if you trade if it, depending on the length of trade history you want to see if you've been trading for a while and you just want to see how much you have made how much you've lost you know total all the activities that have gone on you can select you can change any of these settings to select whatever uh history you want to see okay uh that's pretty much that that the last two icons at the lower part of the screen we really don't have any business with that per se uh, then okay then let's come back to this particular option now look at this part that says manage accounts when you click on manage accounts it shows you this page is where you get to add your live trading account or your demo trading account to metatrader 4 uh, these are the demo trading accounts and the real trading accounts that i have linked already in another tutorial i'm going to show you how to link your uh your trading accounts to metatrader 4 you just need your login details and the password that you created when you were creating that trading account on uh your broker's website so that's all you need in order to be able to log in metatrader 4 is a global app it's, yeah, it's an industry standard app all right so that's that i guess that brings us to the end of this overview thank you very much